The outgoing Smart Fort Wo Cabriolet was a tough sell, suffering as it did from a laggard and jerky transmission, tepid acceleration, and pipsqueak dimensions. If the Fort Wo Coupe misanthropically portrayed its passengers as total dorks, the adorable Cabrio's open top allowed occupants' dignity to evaporate even more easily. But the new model is much, much better, and although it's nearly as tiny, the newly squared off styling and wider stance go a long way toward removing the embarrassment of driving it. We understand that most folks will quickly lose interest once they see that the Ford Woe is 8.8 .8 feet long and has 89 horsepower. But what doesn't shine through on the spec sheet is how the latest Ford Woe now feels almost like a real car. A full 4 inches of added width dissolves much of the previous model's scrawny tall and narrow look while helping keep the car more planted to the road. No one can pretend the Ford Woe Cabrio suddenly looks butch, but the extra width and rectilinear headlights and taillights imbue it with a French bulldog's confidence. It helps that a lot of the drop-tops features seem more substantial, from the removable roof rails that stow in a trunk compartment that resembles a rifle case to an electrically operated cloth roof that can be raised or lowered while on the move, at any speed. Most convertible top mechanisms are locked out above 25 to 30 miles per hour, in the smart, you can cruise at 96 miles per hour, the little car's top speed, and open and close the roof all day. Try that in a Porsche 911 Cabriolet, the only other rear engine, rear wheel drive.